you know, we've covered a lot today in this conversation about producing these polymers using the oils from microalgae. And you seem very confident in the direction that Checker Spot is headed, which we absolutely love. So I just like you to bottom line it for us. And, you know, what would you like for our listeners to take away from this conversation about the potential impact of the technology that Checker Spot is using? I would just say that, you know, CheckerSpot, if you, if you think about us, we're, you know, we're a very relatively small today, highly vert- vertically integrated company that is really taking a look at kind of cradle to grave, everything that we're doing in the manufacturing process, which I also think is fairly unusual for a company of our age and maturity. We're still pretty young. We're trying to build a lot of these processes in early. But I think there's absolutely a lot of promise in what we're building. And one thing that I haven't said that I should point out is we've got really interesting technology. There are parts of it that we've built here during the course of, of Checker Spot's development. But as it relates to you know industrial biotechnology generally, you know there's been a lot of failures out there. There's been some success. We owe a lot of our success to a lot of failures in the past and a lot of success in the past. You know, you don't know what works until you go out there and actually try it and you crash and burn and then you go try something else. And we kind of take that on as a philosophy internally. We, we learn by doing and we try things. And our ability, I think, to find a place where we think we could be successful is done on the shoulders of a lot of people before us who tried things that didn't work and some things that did work. So I think, you know, the, and I think everything works this way from sort of an invention perspective. You're always building on the success and failure that other people achieved before you. And don't underestimate the failures. Those yeah. are really important to getting you where you want to where you want to go. Hopefully you don't repeat them, but <laughs> you also know what doesn't work. So all those things collectively are, are really, really important. So for our listeners who want to reach out to you, is there, you know, a better, is there a good way of connecting with you, whether that's LinkedIn or the website or email? Uh, I would just go to our Checker Spot website and okay. direct any questions or anything, you know, to me and it'll find its way. And I, I'm pretty good about answering those things. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll definitely drop that link in the show notes below. Well, thank you again so much for your time, Scott. We really appreciated uh you know, learning more about this technology and its promising future in in making polymers just a little bit more interesting. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity and Checker Spot appreciates the opportunity to talk to you today. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the It's a Material Worlds podcast. We look forward to releasing our next episode in two weeks. Please subscribe to our podcast feed and your favorite podcast app so that you never miss an episode. And tell your friends about our show on social media. But until then, if you want to hear from us, we are on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Follow or subscribe to us on those platforms to keep up to date with all things It's Material Worlds between our episodes. Links to our social media sites will also be in the show notes. If you have any feedback, we would love to hear it. We are just getting started with the podcast and want to grow this show with our community's input. You can send us feedback through messaging on any of our social media sites. We'd also love to hear your comments through reviews on Apple Podcasts. But until then, take care and stay healthy.